G'day everybody and welcome back to Reactive Gaming with Chris and welcome back to the Sons of the Forest. Today I am going to be building a pool area by that pond over there. So first thing I need to do is obviously build out the footpath or the walkway all the way up to there. So I'm going to quickly do that and I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, so that is the footpath. I'll run back one at one stage and we'll check it out. Nothing special. So we're down here by the little pond now, and I just need to do the wraparound deck. So let's quickly smash that out. Oh, so deck's always the fun part, you know. Got to get this deck up. So what I'm planning on doing is once I wrap this around, I'm probably going to go around four around the whole way. So about, yeah, four wide the whole way, as long as it allows me to do it up here as well, actually, because I didn't think of the elevation up here. How far can we go? Uh, about there. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a bit tricky. Damn. That's the thing about this game. It really pisses me off is the elevation changes around here. That's right. We'll manage. We'll manage. We'll manage. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that's going to be the max I'm going to be able to go from there. Get out of the way. Always in the way. Yep, that's it. Come on. There we go. Can we go further? Yes, we can. Nope, that's it for that one. And there was definitely no more movement that way. What I might have to do... It's going to suck a little bit because... The wraparound that I was thinking about... Unless I actually raise the entire thing by a quarter log and then it's going to be too high oh all right can we go this way yes we can go away bad money bad money there we go okay so i think we got the basic layout going looks pretty good um, what I want to do is obviously try to still get this out to about four wide. Now, the other side's going to be a bit tricky because of the elevation, as I said before. So I don't know if I might just leave that area the way it is and only do the wrap around kind of like a U shape for the, not a roof, but like an outdoor sort of patio kind of look is sort of what I'm going for. So what I need to finish off is this part first, get the planks down. Now, should I use stone or wooden planks? Hmm. I think... Ooh, okay, I'm going to think about that while I do this because I'm not too sure if I'm going to do stone or wood. I think... Stone might give it a good contrast, but then I need to probably replace all the ends with stone as well. So all these end bits that I'm about to do, I probably need to actually change it and around the inside as well to be stone. And then what I could possibly think about doing is taking out the pillars. Well, at least some of them, maybe. That might be a good idea. I think I might do that. Oh, I wish you could respond to me right now. I'd really love to get some feedback. Should I do it wood? Should I do it stone? I don't know what would look better. Hmm. Still think about it. Let's finish this last little bit off here. And I need to think about maybe doing some sort of perimeter around this so they can't come to this area to drink anymore. Maybe I'll do a little bit of timber, a little bit of stone, and I'll see how it looks in comparison. Very time consuming laying all this down. Okay, so that's the width I'm going for all around four by four. Not four by four, but you know what I mean. And then over here, we are stuck at three until I get to about there. So maybe I'll remove these ones here. And then somehow, just this little section here, oh my god, it's so annoying. Oh. Hmm. 
What should I do with this area? Okay, so that's about four. That's about four, then five, four, three. Hmm. Okay, I'll be back once I decide what I'm going to do. Okay, so I think I am going to go all timber. Now, only because I just think it'd look better. Just, I don't know. You're kind of going, oh, now I've got myself doubting myself. I don't know. Uh, timber, stone. Stone to stone just looks so basic sometimes. That's the only reason I just don't want to do stone in this. If I do timber, it might just look better. And I've got some good ideas, good ideas on how to make that water look really good at night time too. Wait until you see at the end. I reckon you're going to love it. I reckon everyone's going to love that. It's going to look so cool as long as my idea works. Okay, let me finish off the decking. I'm going to get some of these planks out. I'm going to see, not the planks, the um, pillars or the um, beams or whatever. I'm going to get them out and I'm going to see how that looks. Or should I leave the the um, the pillars in? Mm. Ah, let's finish the decking. One step at a time. We'll do this. We'll come back. Okay, all the planks are done. So what I need to do is get myself a half log. Get under here. And support all these. I can support 99% of them. That should be okay. Now those ones are going to be a bit tricky. They should still come out though. Yes, yeah, sweet. Cool. Alright. I just think it'll look a little bit better. When some of these just don't want to work. We can't get under those ones, can we? Can we get rid of it? No, we cannot. We get rid of some of these. That's good. That one might actually be all right if we stay in there. Okay. Let's get all this done. Let's get all the pillars out. We'll be back in a sec. Okay. All the pillars are removed. I did have to use uh, the structure debug for maybe two of them. The rest came out nice and easy. I think that looks a little bit better. Where you don't see the pillars, it's like a direct drop straight into it. What I should have thought about is maybe a little diving board or something, eh? Hmm. Maybe later. Maybe later. All right, let's get started on the actual part of the build. Or should I do the lighting first? No, we're going to do the actual build first. So what I'm planning on doing, um, how am I going to start this? We're going to have to probably fix this part up here. Let's get this all along here. All the way around. AV, hey how are you, love? I can't follow you right now, unfortunately. Too busy. Oh, yeah. Um, I was talking to James today as well. And we were thinking of possibly doing a greenhouse. Would anyone like to see that? Uh, we have done one in the past, but I wanted to probably do like a really, really big one. Well, wow, really big. Pretty damn big. Almost like, oh, like the hanger. I wonder if we could use the hanger as a green. No, no, no. no the hanger's already got a purpose. But something nearly that size and somewhere around here, like a really massive greenhouse. If you haven't seen one before, feel free to check out the other A-frame build that I did. So this is where it's going to get tricky. So we're going to have to go around. Have that open. Yeah, okay. And then from there, what we're going to do is probably two in. All the way around. I'll show you what I'm thinking in a second. All right, I'll be back once I lay all these pillars. Okay, so that looks like it's pretty much done there. So this is all going to be like 
undercover kind of, I'll show you actually exactly what I'm talking about. So what I'm planning on doing is what I have dubbed the plumb roof. Because Plumberry, um, from what I gathered, came up with this idea and I have stolen it. So what we're going to do is basically, oh, this is going to be hard to do. Maybe it's so every second one you leave out is essentially the goal. Uh, it might be easier just to remove them. So you still got a gap. Oh, that's not right. Oops. Hang on a second. Uh, actually, that might look all right like that. So you still got lateral light coming through, but you kind of got a little bit of decoration on the roof is sort of what I was going for. But I think... Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much how I'm going to have to do it, actually. Probably look better anyway. So yeah, that's what we're doing for now. This is the roof that we're going to be putting on this one. We could do a full proper roof, but... I think this looks better. If it rains, like, who cares? This will look a little bit more open and more inviting. For, you know, you're going to be out here by the pool. You're going to be, like, some making stuff like that. So, may as well. All right, I'm going to go and finish this. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, the roof is all done. So, that's what it's supposed to look like from underneath. It just gives you that little bit of shade, you know? Not full shade, but pretty damn close. Plus, it looks a little bit more diff uh, a little bit more different than just your standard roof that's all fully covered up or got a point on it. So what I want to do now is put some lighting. I need to put some lighting around here. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to go just in the middle. I don't want to overpower the light through here. So I might do one there, one there, then all the way down through the middle. Put some light bulbs on that. I'm just going to hide some solar panels under the decking, I reckon. I think that's what I should do. And once I've done the lights up here, I am going to move on to the actual water. That's where the magic is going to be. That's the whole point of this build. All this other stuff is a bit of extra so it doesn't look stupid. Okay, now let's move all the way down. Yeah, it's very tedious over and over, but you know, that's how it is. That's why we do this, isn't it? Actually, I probably just go all the way that way. All the way that way. Yep, yeah, okay, cool. I'll be back once I get all the light bulbs up, all up and running. Okay, so lighting around the deck part is virtually done. Done all the basic stuff. This should be enough light for outside. Now, I want to start working on the inside of the pool. But for that, I need to probably jump out of the game, come back in, and kind of clear some of these logs. I wonder what this place is going to look like in the air. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, see, I hate how the light doesn't sort of render in. You got to be right in the middle of the build to actually notice it. But once we get the lights in the actual water, it's going to look so awesome. Super awesome. Okay, let's get these lights done, eh? I wonder if it's easier if I just... Oh, you know what? I'm going to need more solar panels first. Hmm. All right, let's do that before we do anything else. All right, back in a second. Okay. Power is laid. All the solar panels, all the lights just need to be turned on. So from here, it should be pretty easy. So I've got a few more things to do. Until we could go nighttime. But what I want to do... Before I show you the proper final reveal, is probably put some greenery up a little bit. Um, might put a little bit of furniture out here, things like that. But first things first, I need to get these lights on. Oh, I can't wait to see what this thing looks like at night time. Really looking forward to it. 
I think it's going to look either really good or really shit. <laughs> so we'll see how we go. Let's hope it's the first option. Okay, come on. There we go. Because during the day, it looks pretty, pretty average at the moment, but we will make it look a lot better. And I'm hoping the little things that I did are going to work very well at night time. They should work underwater. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't, oh, I'm going to be pretty annoyed. Okay, that's all the lights. Let's start thinking about some plants. So shall we put it on the outside or the inside? If you put it on the outside, the cannibals are probably going to destroy it. Put it on the inside, the chances are they're probably going to destroy it, but not as easily. So let's put it on the inside. That's probably the smartest thing to do. All right, I'm going to get that done. Put some furniture up. I'll be back. We'll turn it to nighttime and we'll finally check this thing out. Okay, people. I think we are done. I think we are done. Now... I hope you like it because it has taken a long time to do this. <laughs> so this is what we ended up with. So we got the tables everywhere. Why there's a rock on the table there? I have no idea. We've got the plants hanging around. Is that Calvin or was that someone? Hey, this place is so heavy with activity. It's ridiculous. Oh, of course I'm out of ammo. Damn it. A big boy, big girl, and a really big boy. Bastard. Sorry. Let's get rid of these guys first. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, this guy's take a hit. You getting back up? Oh, oh, big girl's still there. V, you've got to finish her off. Hey, don't you run. There we go. Hopefully that's all of them. All right, let's have a quick look. So I got the plants in there. <laughs> got the tables going all the way around. I think this came up quite good, if you ask me. Came up pretty damn good, especially with the plants. I put a little fire pit on the inside there. So I just used one of those um, blueprints, one of the new ones from the 1.0. And what I did is I got those spotlights underwater on the pillars down there to sort of shine through to give it that, you know, in light for the pool kind of look. I don't know, that doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. And I put them at the ends of the staircases and I'm actually really surprised these actually work underwater because I didn't think they were going to. But that's pretty much it. Hopefully everyone likes it. I think it came out quite nice, all things considered. V loves it. She's been swimming in here non-stop. It's the first time I've seen her out. She probably needs to get a bathing suit on, actually. So you can go swimming properly. Oh, thank you. Get your bathing suit on, love. There you go. Let me go for a bit of a dip. I'll leave that. Thank you. She finally came to us and um, became friendly. So she's got her guns and she's been a big help taking out a lot of these cannibals. But yeah, got the staircases going down there as well. All the lights underneath look good. I think that's pretty much it for this build. I think I think it looks good. Hopefully everyone likes it. Let's see if I can make it. Nope. Nah. Fail. Oh yeah, the other reason I put it there, because if everyone remembers there's a golf cart here, so I decided I'm going to cover it up with this thing. That was another reason why I decided to put that there. All right. Beautiful. Alrighty, I'm going to leave the video there, people. Thank you all for watching, and if you could please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below, that would be awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.